Hello, my name is John Sveck. Welcome to this All 24 video. Today, Coach Waterman and I are joined by Wali Joe Abdul Rahman. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Uh, why don't uh, you just introduce yourself briefly and uh, let us know a little bit about yourself? Um, I am 17 years old and I'm a cornerback uh, that played for um, Collège Saint Alexandre de la Gatineau. And next year, I'll be playing for Campus Notre Dame de Foy in Quebec. Perfect. Thanks Fantastic. for doing that. Let's, uh, so we're going to do a highlight insight. So we're going to watch a little bit of your highlight tape, um, ask a few questions, talk a little bit of football. So why don't Coach, we just... I like that DPOI, defensive player of the year. I like that right there. There you go. <laughs> Got to get that in. That's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. DB punt returner. We'll see you playing a little bit all over the field here. So this is good. A little bit of a screenshot. There you go. Getting us started. Nice team shot. That's good. Recognizing the team and, and all that Shout stuff. Out to the boys. So I think we got you on the near side here. Is that right on this first play? Yeah, that's me. All right, let's watch the play one time. All right, getting the interception and taking that's it up the nice. sideline. Yeah, so listen, I noticed in watching you play there, you were you, you sort of felt the receiver, but you had eyes to the to the quarterback and saw the drop. Is that what you're looking for there? Oh uh, yeah, I was really looking for um because when I saw my receiver um cut, I was I was looking at the quarterback. And that was actually a mistake on my part, because usually, um, as a DB, you're taught to um, keep your eyes um, on your on your receiver the whole time. But um, I was just lucky to be able to make a play on this one. That's Great one of the perks left. of being uh, of being uh, my height, honestly. That's it. I was gonna say you got some range there. How tall are you yeah. right now? Uh, six foot three. Six three. There you go. I'm taking and, it up you know, the thinking about yeah, thinking about it, you know, even though you play DB. Uh, you know, how much do you work on your hands, to, you know, because you don't, you know, the, the difference between being a, a good player and a great player is actually catching those balls. Yeah, and yeah. Opportunity and, and, and so how, how much do you work on your hands? Um, honestly, um, this year, one of my main problems were my drop picks. I had like four or five of them this year. So um, uh, on this, this offseason, I was really working, like practicing my wide receiver drills, practicing my hands really to, um, to uh, diminish that problem. That's a big, big. That's a big uh, thing to do because that's the big difference between uh, making being a playmaker, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, making those picks, and then once you have the ball, it's that ball security, right? Working on holding yeah. on to it. Those offensive guys are always going to try to punch that out from you. That's pretty good ball security for a defensive player. There, that's a pretty good <laughs> job. I tell you, nice, high and tight. Look at that, eh? Wrist above oh. the elbow. Good stuff. All right, we'll go on to the next play here. And this one, uh, we get you on screen a little bit late, so maybe you can talk us through this one a little bit. Um, this was actually the last play of the second quarter. And um, uh, we knew what they were going to do. And they decided to throw the ball um, uh, deep my way, and I, I was able to make a play on, the, on this ball. And so when you're, when you're in those scenarios at the end of the quarter or the end yeah. of uh, this is second quarter, end of the half, uh, you know, you give yourself a little more room. What's your thought process when you know that they've got a long way to go? Uh, honestly, it's the same thing as, um, as like, third down defense. When you play third down defense, usually you look at the stakes and you try to protect the stakes. Right now, that's the same thing. I, we see that it's the last play of the second quarter, so we know that it's touchdown or nothing. So we, we can't give a big play. And then you cut it back because it's the last play of the half and you're trying to yeah. score a touchdown here, I guess. Yeah, eh? it was really – but I actually did a mistake at the end of the play because I could have um, uh, ran out and do a touchdown, but instead I ran out inside and I got tackled at, at the one-yard line. So that's really – that was that's a big okay, mistake. Though, that's not, yeah, yeah, you know, that's a learning thing for you, but, uh, you know, it's nice to see you be aggressive that way and, and, and try to score. Thank you. Same thing here. I think you're the high player and a bit of a tip ball, so – uh, you end up getting the interception here? Yeah. Now, do you guys work a lot of tip drills? Have you done a lot of that as a DB? Uh, usually, um, we have one of those drills when um, there's two people in line. The um, uh, So the quarterback throws the ball to the first one. The first one throws it, um, like, tips in the air. And the second has to run and catch the ball. So, yeah, we, we practice that. When those practice, young players practice. are getting asked to do those drills by coaches, they do actually come up, come up in a game and they show up, don't they? Yeah, there it is. All right, playing corner on the near side here again. Big break on it. So I'm guessing that you're a deep zone defender. Is this kind of a cover three play? Oh, no, that's um, actually a man-to-man -man play. 
Oh, man to man. Okay. Yeah, and I actually did a mistake on this play. Usually, I'm I was I'm supposed to line up within uh, seven seven yards, but right that was a, I was a little bit too deep, so that was a mistake on my part. But then again, I um because um of my athleticism, I could I made the play. And what do you think about when there's a, you know, you're playing man and you know, their balls being thrown Do you read the route of the receiver and try to break to the split. Like, what's your thoughts? Try to go with the, the, the catch point or where are you uh, trying to go? Um, honestly, um, I, I watch, I watch the receiver's hip the whole time. And as soon as I see him break or as soon as I see him raise his hands to catch the ball, that's where I really break. And that's really where I play the ball. Do you end up getting that interception? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, like the receiver cut it and I uh, picked it off. Uh, yeah, not a bad way to start a, a tape three inter three plays three interceptions, <laughs> eh, coach? <laughs> not bad at all. You've got our attention there. That's very yeah. good. Yeah, that's one of the same plays as um uh, as the last one. It's the last play of the half, and uh, the other team tried to jump ball the ball, and being taller than the other guy, I could just catch the ball. And a lot of bodies coming to get you there. So, yeah. ball security, there you yeah, go. And Good so, stuff. As, you know, as you start to continue to develop, the one thing you'll hear your coaches say watching the film, great, great job. And they're going to say, high point the ball, right? That's the next yeah. thing you're going to hear. Get it up, get it up top. Like on this one, I was actually, um, uh, one, of, one of my, my DB coach said that um, uh, catching the ball like this, like I caught it, was really dangerous. And I actually really high point the ball, like you said. Because I caught it like a punt return a little bit. Right. And that's a great thing you can work on when you're attacking those things to go up and get that with two hands nice yeah. and high. Yeah. Now, are you playing some halfback here? Uh, no, that, that was that was a cover three play. Okay. So, so my zone depth. was the um, uh, was the third um, deep third um, outside deep third, and I just made a play on this play too. Oh, do we get a house? And we get it to the house this time? No. Not quite. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're so close. You're so yeah, close. You know. All right. And some punt return stuff. So what uh, What are some of your thoughts when you're going into in the punt return game here as a returner? Uh, usually, um, the first thing that I want to do, like the, the thing I did this play that I'm not happy about is that I let the ball bounce one time. Usually, I try to catch it right off the air so I have momentum and – like the 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 fact that the ball bounced, I mean, I I lost a couple of yards right there. So I really try to focus on catching the ball and not let not let it touch the floor. But for this game, the coach told me to let it bounce because um, of the lighting and the fact that it's dark. So he doesn't want me to muff the ball or something. Mm. And is this? Do you remember? Is this a, a sideline return or a middle return or left or right? Do you remember what you oh, guys were trying to set up here? Yeah, we're trying to set up um, a sideline return. Yeah. Uh, so here I see you returning the ball. So is that is that a skill you enjoy? Do you like getting back there and being able to do the punt returns as well? Yeah, honestly, I really enjoy doing that because, like, uh, it's really stressful being um uh, like the the guy furthest out, and you know that if you drop the ball, the other team gets the ball. So I really enjoy um taking that pressure and taking that stress. Yes. Awesome. That's good stuff. Nice job using your block there and getting up field. That's uh, that's nice work. We'll go to the next play here. Coming on a blitz. That's always a lot of fun for a for a DB there. L the DBs always want to come on the blitz. So talk to us about this one. Uh, honestly, about this play, um, they're the team uh, like because um last year we were playing a uh, man to man scheme. And um, if you see on my side, there were no D, uh, there were no um, uh, there were no uh, receivers because it was quads the other way. So um, my coach told me that if there were um, no receivers, I just had to blitz. So that's what I did. And that didn't get you excited at all, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you blitz in those scenarios and you're and you're coming on the edge, what uh, is there an aiming point you're you're thinking about, or is there a specific thing you're trying to get your body to? Place? Uh, honestly, I'm just uh, focusing on really running to the quarterback and uh, just um, sacking him. And honestly, uh, that's something that's really funny is that if you see behind me, 
that's my brother and he was he was mad because he said i stole his sack <laughs> perfect <laughs> yeah awesome. tell him he's got to get there first next time to get that's it. it that's great that's good great. stuff and then nothing better because dbs are always asking to get blitzes so when you get that chance yeah. to make the sack there's nothing better than that yeah it's really exciting so here I notice you're, you're inside covering down number three. So was that because of the formation or a game plan or what happened here? Uh, it's really about the game plan because um, uh, something that I like about my coaches, uh, they, were they were really trusting me. And for the game plan, they always told me to line up against the other team's best receiver. So we're always playing man, and my coach told me play against the best receiver and lock him down. That was like my only job as a defensive back. What I, what I like about what you do is you've got great burst uh, when you commit to something. Um, as a taller DB, it must be, you know, tough to always think about keeping your pad level down and your hips down. So, you know, is that something you consciously think about? Oh, uh, yeah. It's something we honestly, like, the main thing that a coach, um, that my coach always says to me is um, uh, staying low because we, we always practice, um, practice in the shoot and he always tells me, like, stay low, stay low. We have to stay low. So, yeah, that's something I practice constantly on. And a really great clip here. I mean, covering that crossing route, and there's there's things you got to get through, and a uh, yeah. really good job in your man's man staying on the top hip. That's a really nice rep, and you get the knockdown. And something that I'm really tra um, practicing this season is really my technique, because, like, if you see, I look a little bit stiff on, on the break. And, yeah, that's really something I'm practicing on. And, you know, being more quick on the break might be a difference between a PBU and a pick, so. It's yeah, and one, I'm working on. yeah, one of those tough things guarding those crossing routes, uh, and we talk, and we have it at our level all the time, is that you know you got to get in phase or get caught up to the hip before you start peeking back to the quarterback. Uh, you know, a lot of young DBs want to take three steps and look back to see what's happening, and meanwhile they're getting separated, uh, separation they're losing from the receiver. So you've got to really focus on that hip till you catch up. So that's definitely something that I'm sure you guys work on a lot, right? Yeah, my coach, my, my main, my coach's main um, teaching point was really about um, like keeping my eyes on the hips. Because um, every time that we, yeah, we were running a lot of one-on-ones during practice, each time we got beat was because we looked back at the quarterback. So the coach really um, uh, put an uh, emphasis on that. Again, you're going to come on the screen late here, but we'll get to get to watch your finish here a little bit. Do you remember this play? What was uh, what was your assignment on this one? Uh, like like every other play, um, we were playing man to man. I was playing man to man against the best receiver, and that was honestly just an athletic play. But yeah, that's honestly it. What I like about that is, you know, you can see, we all often talk about you become the receiver as a DB yeah. once you're in phase and good position. So you can see yourself attacking that ball as thinking like a receiver. The only, I guess, coaching point would be to get up, get your hands, just a hand position when you're getting up and getting that ball. Other than that, you're doing a great job becoming the receiver. I like that. Thank you very much. Perfect. We have time for another play or two here, and and here we are on the goal line. This is this is uh, important territory. Obviously, do you get excited when uh, when you're playing down in this edge of the field? Yeah, honestly, and the thing that I really like is like um the um the field shrinks shrinks in, in the goal line, so you really have a lot of more opportunities to play aggressive um during uh during short breaking routes. So yeah, that's really something I enjoy. And right there on this play, um, my linebacker was was really mad because he told me like, "Oh, you could have picked that, and you could have went for six. But if you yeah. did get that pick, you probably could have went a lot of, a long way with your speed. But yeah. you got the knockdown. So, and we'll watch one more play here. So, same kind of thing, goal line situation. Yeah, and the thing that's funny about this play is um, the other team just scored a touchdown, and we thought they were going for a field goal. But next, so we were um, on our field goal defense, and next thing you know, they um, uh, they switched it up and they were throwing a pass. So I had to cover those two um, uh, two receivers at the same time. Oh wow! So yeah. Well, good on you for staying alert. You know, you can never relax on the field and assume something. That's a lesson for all, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, we really appreciate your time and thanks for being with us and a, a very uh, impressive tape and uh, just keep working. You got a bright future in this game. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Hansi. Thank you for having me.
Well, you're welcome. It's great to have a chance to talk to you. Keep working hard. Thank you. Thank you very much.